Okay, let me explain to you how to solve a quadratic equation by factoring when x squared does not have 1, it has some other coefficient. Uh, first, you want to move everything to one side so that you have a, a trinomial. Also, uh, I usually like to have the very first number to be positive. So if you had a minus, I would multiply everything by negative 1 to make, make it positive. All right. Now, if, if this is not 1, if it's uh, another number, then you have to do something called factoring by grouping. Of course, uh, you can also do trial and error. Like, uh, think about. Like 15 is 3 times 5, so think about 3x and then 5x, and then negative 3 is 3 times 1, so you would try 3 and negative 1, or maybe negative 1 and 3. You try all the combinations, and sometimes it works. But it's just so complicated. I think the more streamlined <coughs> approach is to actually uh, just, just use this thing called factor by grouping. So what is factor by grouping? Uh, step 1. You want to multiply these two numbers, the first and the last. Multiply them. And what's the number that you get? Negative 45. Negative 45. So you get negative 45. And what you want to do is you want to find two numbers that multiply to that number and two numbers that add to the middle number. And when you write the middle number, make sure you include the signs. Okay? So it's, <coughs> if it's like a plus b equals negative 4, uh, you have to include this negative. Okay. So here we have two numbers, a times b, that gives you negative 45. So you can think of all the factors of 45, like uh, <coughs> 9 and 5, right? Or 15 and 3. 15 times 3 is 45. Also, uh, among those, you have to see which one adds to negative 4. <coughs> now, if the product is negative, that means one number is negative and the other number is positive, right? So when you add the two numbers, one is negative and the other is positive, so you end up really doing a minus subtraction between the two because that one is negative, the other is positive. So think about this. If you have uh, 9 times 5 as 45, 9 and 5, do their difference give you negative 4 or 4? Oh, so that does work, right? So uh, now let's think about exactly <coughs> what numbers we need. Uh, we need, so it said 9 and 5. It's either negative 9 times 5 or 9 times negative 5. Which one of these two give you negative 4? Negative 9. Negative 9 and 5, so it's this one. So you, you choose A to be negative 9 and B to be positive 5, and then those two numbers satisfy both equations. So that's step one. Step one is uh, multiply uh, first and last. <coughs> last, okay. And once you do that, you you, you solve this. Okay. You have to find two numbers that does it. Okay. Now step two is factor by grouping. And uh, what I mean by that is. You see this negative 4x? You take the negative 4x, the middle term, and rewrite negative 4 as negative 9 plus 5. Okay, that, that's why we did this work. We, we made negative 4 into negative 9 plus 5 so that we can apply it here. So I replace negative 4 by negative 9 plus 5 times x. This thing goes now, whenever you see, a, see an equal sign, make sure that it is indeed equal, right? If you have negative 9 plus 5, that's negative 4. Negative 4 times x is indeed the same as negative 4x. So you agree that this is true, right? And that's same as negative 9x plus 5x, right? So what you th do is you take the middle number and you split it into two parts according to what you found out in step one. That, those are two steps. And then uh, 
once you do this, then you can actually do something called factor by grouping. Let me show you how it works. So you, you write down 15x squared. Instead of negative 4x, you put negative 9x plus 5x, and then minus 3 equal to 0. And the factor by grouping means you group the first two, you group the second two, and you, you factor individually as much as you can. So this one, what's the <coughs> greatest common factor between 15 and 9? What? 3. 3. Uh, and then they also have x, both they have x, right? So you factor the 3x out. Let's see, if you factor the 3x out, 3x times what gives you 15x squared? What goes in here? 5x, five. Five right? 3x times what gives you negative 9x? Three. Minus 3. Minus 3, right? Okay. <coughs> now, what's the greatest common factor between 5 and negative 3? Well, there isn't any. Uh, there is, they, they do not share any common factor other than 1, right? In this case, you can't factor. So uh, if you can't factor what you're given, just put a parenthesis around it. Now, once you do that, minus three. Oh, thank you. Once you do that, then magically you see that the two <coughs> resulting thing are identical. If you have something that's identical, then you can factor that out, right? So five uh, x minus three looks complicated, but think about <coughs> this as a number. That's a number, right? If you, if x was some number, five x minus three will be another number. So it's some kind of number multiplied to three x, some kind of number times one. You should think of this as 1 times that. So that means you can factor the 5x minus 3 out. Then what's left in here? 3x plus 1. Yes. 5x plus minus 3 times 3x. 5x minus 3 times 3x gives you this. 5x minus 3 times what gives you that? Times 1. This times 1 is that. So uh, the above is exactly the same as that. Okay. And uh, what I advise you to do is, every time you transfer one to the next, one to the next, always check whether you're doing it correctly or not by multiplying them out and see, see if it works, right? If you multiply this out, it's the same thing. If you expand it, then you're gonna see that it's exactly the same as what you started with. This is the same thing as this. Then uh, step three will be solve this. That one, I don't even have to write it. Solving means uh, you say, if two things multiply to zero, that means either the first thing is zero or the second thing is zero. So that means x is, uh, you subtract one both sides and divide by three, so it's negative one thir third. You add three both sides and divide by five, so x is three over five. And therefore the answer is x equal to negative one third, three over five. So that's how you factor by grouping.